morning folks from an incredibly beautiful and sunny Keswick so we're down in Dermot Water and we're going to get on one of the Keswick launches and do a do a round trip around the lake maybe get off and have a walk have a look at a couple of places of interest should be good it's beautiful where you see the footage uh, the snow on the mountains yeah can't wait let's go and get on the boat Well, just got off the boat at Hawes End. Oh God, it's beautiful. I know I keep saying it, but it is. So we're just gonna have a little walk. We're gonna go right down the bottom end of the lake. Unfortunately, the, thank you. Unfortunately, the launch is only running to Hawes End and back. I thought I was gonna get a round trip, but that's not happening. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a wander. There's a couple of points of interest. Hopefully get the drone up. Oh god, hang on, look at this. Ta-da! Feels like I've got the whole place to myself, even though there are other people knocking about. It's so quiet, which is unusual for the lakes. Right, onwards. So at Brandle Howe, there was a sculpture called Entrust, which commemorates 100 years of the National Trust. But it's not here. So let's go and have a look. It's known locally as the Hands. So what must have happened was, we get really high lake levels here in the winter. So it's obviously been that high that the hands have floated off and ended up here under this tree. That is incredible because it must be they must be so heavy. We must have had an extreme water event at some point. Hopefully they'll move them back to where they belong. Because they're a bit of a landmark. And we must be talking about I don't know, 30 meters or something. That is incredible. I was going to sit in them and take a nice photo, but that's not going to happen. Right, let's keep moving. So when you get down the bottom of the lake, you're confronted with these massive spoil heaps. One there and one there. Now, cap bells, which is that way, 
was extensively mined in the reign of Elizabeth I and some German miners were brought in to prospect for whatever they could find and they found a lot of stuff, copper and graphite so these spoil heaps have just remained here ever since it's starting to grow over now but uh, yeah, it's a remnant of the past some people might say it looks ugly but it's just kind of part of the landscape and there's always industry gone on in the in the lake district so it's just a part of that I'm assuming they dug all this lot out by hand too my goodness it is beautiful down here I know I keep saying it but wow Bit of a sprint on. Got to catch the next ferry, boat, launch, whatever. I've had a donut, supercharged. Well, that's the back of the jetty. So we're just gonna catch the, the boat when it comes along. I can just see it over in the distance, so it should be about 10 minutes or something. Uh, that was really nice. Just let me park up here. When I got here, there was, there was nobody else here and it was so lovely and quiet, but uh, that didn't last long. So even in winter, it's gonna get busy because it's a easy, kind of nice walk. But uh, yeah, it was just nice to be out in this backdrop. So, We'll get back on the boat when he comes and uh, head back to Keswick. Seriously. <laughs> okay, back at the car. Keswick is absolutely haven, as you would expect on a Saturday. Uh, so yeah, that was enjoyable. It's the first time being on the launch for years, so uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, weather seems to be closing in now, so I think we've, um, I think we got out at the right time. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, and we'll see you on the next one, whenever that is. Catch you later. Bye.